Guys, I don't know if you can hear me because I have my face mask on, but I'm at Whole Foods, right? Just take a look at the line. And I've been waiting already for like maybe 15 minutes. It's crazy. Plus, I got my flu shot today. I'm not sure if you can see. Yay, no more flu. You know, I never thought I'd see the day where we would be making lines just to get groceries. It really makes you appreciate where we were, I don't know, six, seven months ago. It's insane. So I'm glad we're taking the precautions, the necessary precautions, but still the, it's the little things where you can really, I guess, um, realize uh, the shift in, in dynamic. So, as I said, keep your face masks on, keep six feet apart, and I'll see you guys later. We are almost next. So, yay! Let's see these watermelons. I love watermelon. With tajin, so good. Mm. Finally in Whole Foods. I'm not sure if I want strawberries or raspberries for my smoothies. I need oatmeal. I'm gonna get raspberries. Okay, so we got the raspberries. Let's see what else this beautiful store has in store for us. Ah, the conundrum. Oh, peaches. Oh, nectarines. I love nectarines. They're so good. And they are $2.49 a pound and they're organic. So let's go ahead and have a little bag here. And are these here? These are not organic. I don't know. Let's just grab the nectarines. They're so pretty. Look at them. Yum. I'm gonna make pork chops. So I'm in the hankering for some mushrooms. Now these are $3.49, right? Total. And are these the same ones? These are Philips Gourmet. They can't be $3.49 and these be $3.49. So Oh, these are $3.99. See, these are $3.99. Okay. These are $3.99. And these are $3.49. Or a lot less. Do I get the... Um, these are 680 grams. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get these. Definitely going to get these. Okay. So, let's see what else. Let's go ahead and grab okra. It's $3.99. I love okra. It's delicious. I'm not sure if you guys know, but I really hate cooking. So sometimes I'm super tempted to buy these already pre-seasoned foods. Like this one looks delicious. It's an Asian ginger bone in chicken thigh. That does not look bad. The Jamaican jerk I bought one day, I did not like. Uh, way too salty. Cajun drumsticks, no. I wonder if I should try, I wonder if they have these button, like, Drumsticks. No. Drumsticks. Drumsticks. What else do they have? Hmm, they have these kebabs. Delicious. Black pepper marinated. Um. I don't know. I said I just got the pork chop. The pork chop. Oh, I just don't want to have to marinate them. I'm going to go ahead and. If I could find these, but in like, um, drumsticks, that'd be great. Drumsticks. Are these? No, okay. So I'm just gonna buy the chicken thighs. I'm gonna buy the chicken thighs, so let's see how it goes with this. There. Okay, I didn't get the pork chops but I'm not going to cook that much. You can see but I'm such a sucker for these specialty products. I'll think about it. Give me a good salad dressing. Love love love. Um two for five that's not a bad deal. Non-dairy ranch and we have French and we have olive oil and balsamic so I'll have these two for five bucks. Score! But I just saw this you guys know I love figs. Um, I just don't know if I'm gonna like it though. Fig pulp vinegar. 
Oh my gosh, should I? After 1822. Well, there's still a lot of them, so if it's here next week, then it's meant to be. How about that? Another fig balsamic vinegar, and that's $7.99. And this one was is $5.87. So it's not like a special thing. Oh, this one must be nice. Citrus champagne vinegar, champagne vinegar, aged sherry vinegar. Oh, these look good. White balsamic vinegar. Here's another fig one. Oh, come on, you got, oh, that's $15. <laughs> oh no, $14, $15, whatever, $14 or $15. Yeah, no. Okay, so I just need to find the oatmeal and the oat milk. Oh no, just oatmeal, actually. No, I'm gonna find oat milk too, here we go. So oat milk, it's $2.99. Oh, look at this, six five brand, it's $2.99. And this is $3.74, girl, I'm not gonna say no to a deal. This is like really good oat milk, oat milk as well. Now I need to find oat meal. Let's go. It has to be, it is here. Duh, it says it's here. So let's see. Oh, ooh, look at the cabra. It's so strong, but it's so good. It's like an acquired taste. Look at the cabra is good. Back to business. Where is the oatmeal? Oatmeal, oatmeal. What is the name of the Lord? Is the oatmeal? Y'all. Yeah. Okay, this is cereal. Where is the oatmeal? Oh, come on, dog. This is not oatmeal. This is muesli, which I love and I have. Huh? It does say oatmeal, right? I'm not insane. Where in the name of Jesus is the oatmeal? Ah, I see. I was too blind to see it. Here we go. Oh, come on. Y'all don't have the organic 365 brand? These are like mad expensive. Oh, they're not mad expensive, but they still are expensive because the organic 365 is like $2 or $3. So I'm not sure. Look, this is six. Okay. It's just the small version of it, and the small version is what, maybe three dollars? So it's three dollars for 510 grams. And if I pay four dollars for this one, I'd be getting 997 grams. 907 versus 510 for. Oh. I don't know. Get this one. Honestly. Okay. So I went down. Grocery shopping, I think. I hope. So shopping. Grocery shopping was a success. Oh, oh, oh. Get back in. Get back up. Grocery shopping was a success, as I was saying. I'm walking back home. And I'm kind of glad. I'm not even kind of glad. I'm super glad. I didn't buy the um, the fig balsamic vinegar because I thought genuinely that um, there was just one option, but no, there's several options. So, you know, sometimes you just have to let things go. So what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day is I'm gonna go back home, I'm going to work because I have a lot of work, thank God. And then I'm going to probably cook a little, not probably, most likely, cook for the week and call it a day. So thank you so much, you guys. Have a great day. Subscribe to my channel. Ah, like and comment down below. What do you do on your Sundays? Have a great day. Bye, besitos. Can we appreciate how big, how big Pancho is? And look at Guadalupe. She's like stunning. This, I'm not sure if you guys know what it is. She was literally a baby seed in a candy. She's tamarind. And one of my friends brought me uh, tamarind candy back from Mexico. So good. And I thought, you know what? Let me try and 
plant the seed and see if it sprouts and look I have a little tamarind tree so look at my plants this is an aloe I have more aloes but this was this is she wasn't looking too hot and I brought her outside and she's looking a lot better and Ancho's looking so much better he, he's kind of um I'm not sure if you can tell but he's kind of plump with Ancho is that was not plump. He um, was actually looking super skinny. So I brought him outside. And as you can see, he doesn't get direct sunlight, but he is getting sunlight. I'm not sure, you know, I thought that he would like direct sunlight, but he doesn't that much. So I think indirect sunlight serves him well. And I'm glad he's looking a little plumper, a little thicker. Maybe he'll get out of flower. Bunch of gives out such beautiful flowers. In Guadalupe, she's never given me a flower, but she's hard to she's hard to the touch, but beautiful. Ouch! Ouch! To see. She, these are these are like these are super. Ouch! Panica. Ouch! It really hurts. These are very. Oh, look at my nails. I cut them again. So gross. These are very prickly. Super super prickly. But she's so beautiful. Ah, I love my plants so much. As I said, these are not all my plants, but ah, oh, I love my tamarind tree. And look, she's getting like new leaves every other day. Aren't they stunning? Seriously though, are they not stunning? Wow. You know what? I just put the tree like this so it doesn't grow as, as crooked. Right? Oh, cicadas. I'm just gonna leave it like that. So stunning. Okay, you guys, besitos. Bye.